Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing something a little bit different today. What I wanted to do was take a look at the uh, maps that DCS World has to offer, and I figured I'd start out with a video on the Persian Gulf map. And uh, what inspired me to do this is I was watching the new Netflix movie with Ryan Reynolds called Six Underground, and they had this uh, fictional country called something Turdistan or something like that and uh, it's Dubai because I remember flying past a couple of the buildings that they were showing off uh, in the movie and that were pictured in the movie and I'm like I've flown past that building before so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the missions and stuff that you get if you happen to purchase the Persian Gulf map if you have these modules so I'll begin with instant action so let's start out with uh, the A-10. If you happen to own the A-10C and you buy the Persian Gulf map, you get a cold start, takeoff, free flight, landing, and a strike mission. If you own the Vigan, now this one's really cool because you get the, the Vigan has some of the coolest Persian Gulf um, missions. Let's try the, f no, the free flight you have to start from the ground. That's the only thing that sucks about the Vigan, is this one starts from the ground. But, um, Beach Party Interdiction Rockets is one that I've made videos of before, but I figured I'd jump in real quick and just show you. And it's really a toss-up to me, for me between the Nevada map and the Persian Gulf map, but some of these missions in the Persian Gulf really look so good. And uh, this is one of them, I think, when it comes to the terrain details. Alrighty. Let's get her done. Kick it up a notch. Go in triple burn. This thing has three stages of afterburn. I just look at the mountains in the background. This looks way better than the default map. And this isn't even like one of the better known regions, you know? Look at the water. Absolutely amazing. This is by far one of my favorite missions from this map. And again, it depends on um, what modules you own as to what missions you'll end up getting. And of course you can use the mission editor to create whatever you want on the Persian Gulf map, and I've done that before. Yeah, I'm hauling ass at triple burn here. I really like this even more fun in uh, VR, but I've been making some more videos outside of VR because viewers have said that it's a little hard to watch the VR videos sometimes. Now my other option is to record in super ultra wide which some people have said it looks like letterbox. Well, you know, I can't help it. I got a 49 inch monitor I'm running at 3840 by 1080 and 144 hertz and this is kind of what you end up with. But for me, on my monitor, I don't have any black bars at the top and the bottom my screen is 49 inches wide and it has this just awesome view. Okay, got my rockets set up. There's a couple MI-8s. Then there's a ship over there that looks like it's gonna be ugly. I'm gonna turn the labels off right now because I kinda kinda know where these guys are at this point. I've done this enough times. I'll come out of that burn. And we're just gonna come vulching down on these guys over here.
Ooh, bad angle. Hit absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, they're firing at me though. That was a bad lazy attempt. I'm so used to doing it in VR that it's a little disorienting in track IR at the moment. That dude's firing like crazy at me. I should shoot his ass. That's going to leave a mark. Yeah. That worked out rather well. Second time was better. And then there's my other boys flying in and doing what they're doing. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I just flew in at triple burn ahead of the package. Pretty cool stuff. And let's see if you go to... Beggar's Canyon. This is another awesome mission. This one's a different one. One of them you can use the high drags and the other one you use the RB5 or whatever that's called. But just look at that. Awesome. Just awesome. And again, that's if you own the Vigan. If you own the Harrier, you get nothing by buying the Persian Golf map. If you own the F-16, however, you got a nice variety of missions here. And let's do the free flight, because this is pretty cool. This, this, this brings you in from one different side of Dubai, which is pretty cool. And uh, we'll fly past the building that uh, the main bad guy dictator dude was like had his office in and stuff in that movie Six Underground pretty crazy when you're in the F-16 you can just look around and you don't even see a, a bubble because it's like round and kinda over you and you can see a little bit of glare but that's about it but it's so like free you know to look around everywhere So, if you look closely straight ahead, that's the building that the evil dictator dude was pushing dudes off the building. That building right there. And then if you look over this way, some G's to get there. You got like a racetrack and the Ferrari building. Pretty cool stuff. And you even see a lot of traffic kind of doing their own thing on the ground in this, which is really cool. And off to the left over here, you see some kind of industrial stuff going on, which is kind of cool. Actually, just this little Dubai region that's up ahead here is almost like a cool little aerobatic playground, if you will because you can kind of fly through the picture frame, you can thread the needle, go through the triangle at the hotel, you can try to land helicopters on the helipad. 
I mean, in, in terms of just coolness and things to do in an aircraft, the Persian Gulf map in the little Dubai region really is where it's at. here at about 600 knots. Just cruising towards the city. Technically that's our steer point up ahead I believe too. See how it just kind of popped up on the HUD right there in the middle now? where they wanted us to go anyway. In this free flight mission, that is. And now we're getting closer to Dubai itself, and you're starting to see the cool along the water regions here. And then I believe that's like the world's tallest building up ahead too. I've done a couple of helicopter missions here and it takes forever to get to downtown Dubai. You know, the difference between going 100 knots, which is pretty much almost as fast as you can go in some of these helos, and then going 600 to 800 knots in F-16s and F-15s, eh, it's a big difference. You got more industrial stuff going on up here. The boats are pretty cool, that's a nice touch. So I'm going to jump back and... So there's a combat air patrol mission, port strike, air refueling, takeoff. So that's if just if you own the F-16. F-5, there's a couple missions for it. Air to air, ground attack, intercept. I think we've looked at this ground attack mission before as well, but I'll take a quick look at it again. Because these are some of the coolest things, I think, in this region in terms of the maps and whatnot. And where is rockets? That's going to leave a mark. I just look at the terrain and the mountains. So the Persian Gulf terrain looks really nice. Definitely a fan.
and away we go. Up, up, and away. Alrighty. So that is the little variety of missions you get for the F5. F14, you got a bunch of other really awesome missions too. This is one I've done a uh, a video of not long ago as well, but I'll jump in here real quick because there's really a cool little region that it models very well. Just overall, the entire environment is so much better for just about every module in this game, I think. Well, in this simulation. I tend to call it a game, but it really is a game, no matter what you want to call it. It's a game. It's just a realistic game. Because really, a game is anything that you can, you know, walk away from and there's no risk involved, you know. Now, look how awesome this looks up here at this uh, altitude. We have So these Marines are on the ground up here in this little valley and uh, there's all kinds of fires burning around us. There's just combat going on everywhere. It's really cool. Absolutely awesome environment for air combat and air to ground operations. And in this one, I'm ready to go with uh, air to ground ordnance. But again, look at the terrain detail. And this mission's super cool. I have a video for this one. And uh, it's really awesome because you're, prov you're providing close air support for these Marines on the ground here. And all hell breaks loose. And you just basically, you know, jump in here and drop some GBU 16s on some uh, insurgents for them. And then you're, you know, diverted away to another area where they need help. And you can hear the radio chatter in the background when the shit hits the fan. Super cool stuff. And again, look at the terrain, man. Just looks amazing. Okay, let's jump back. And of course, Tomcat is my all-time favorite. This rocket run's kind of neat, too. So all the Tomcat is a fleet defender and, you know, interceptor for mostly air combat stuff. It's also pretty damn good at dropping bombs and doing air-to-ground things. Give me some zoonies, Jester. And again, just look around, man. Look at those mountains. Look at the terrain. This is kind of where you expect to be conducting operations, you know? Not that crappy green area that you get in the default map. That's going to leave a mark. Nice. I made a little mess down there. Took a bunch of them out, too. Tomcat's badass. But again, just look at the terrain around this. Super awesome stuff. Alright, that covers the Tomcat. Let's look at the F-18. The F-18's got a bunch of really cool missions, too. But let's go for the free flight. This one starts out at a really neat area over Dubai. So 
So this one's really cool because you really start out right there. You're already really close to downtown. This is pretty much where all the world's super rich go. Zoom. Thread the needle. And that hotel back there has a helipad on it too that you can land on that's pretty cool. If we go this way, that's pretty much, I believe, the world's tallest building up ahead. And again, there's a couple of the other buildings. These two buildings right here were visually seen in that movie as well. Six Underground. So a lot of Dubai was going on in that movie. Here's the picture frame. At least that's what I call it. Sure looks like a picture frame. Not sure what the deal is with this thing. But as you see, you can really have some fun in Dubai. And there's a lot of neat little things you can do, you know? And fly through. Pretty nice little harbor going on there. Super fun stuff. Absolutely beautiful map. There's also something out there in the distance too that you can fly through. I almost think this building was in that movie too. See that building down there? You could fly through that too. Pretty cool. So that's what you get with the F-18, and these all these missions are really cool and show all kinds of cool areas. Uh, Flaming Cliffs, you get a whole bunch of stuff, just a whole bunch of stuff for the Persian Gulf map. They really did it did it up with the per, with the uh, Flaming Cliffs stuff. Ka-50, got a few missions. There's a free flight, firing range. Let's try the free flight. I haven't touched this guy in a while. Probably going to wreck it. But you get a new appreciation for a map like this when you fly it in a helicopter. Because you see things that you don't normally see at lower levels. Just a completely different level of detail. Much slower though, but different level of detail. Look at all the traffic down there doing their own thing. That airport's pretty detailed too.
And let's see... Mirage 2000. Bunch of pretty cool missions for the Mirage. Let's do their free flight. I think we come in from a completely different angle with the Mirage, too. Yeah, this is just a completely different area altogether. But look at the green, greenish-blue waters. Just absolutely awesome sauce. Make 21, you get nothing. MI8. This is actually pretty cool because it's almost like a, a dusk environment. It's either dusk or dawn, one of the two. Looks really cool, though. I'll turn these labels off. Alright, let's get this show on the road. moving. This thing's like a lumbering beast. jump to this middle seat. Almost has a better view of the entire cockpit from this middle seat. That's the main pilot seat. Co-pilot seat. And then weapon system officer or something. Tend to like this view a lot though. In VR, it's more unobstructed. You don't see these two boneheads' heads right next to you. In VR, it's slightly different. So this is probably going to be the better view for the moment. But the lighting, as this turns into nighttime, looks pretty freaking awesome. And I think for flying helos, the Persian Golf map is really cool. Looks like the sun's setting, I believe. Yeah, look down below. Look how awesome that is. Absolutely awesome sauce. So that is the MI-8. Then if you go to the SA-342, you have nothing for the Persian Gulf map. Spitfire nothing for the Persian Golf map. SU-25, they actually give you something. And I'm not even going to go to that because the SU-25 sucks. Uh, TF-51, of course you can do a free flight here. Huey. Uh, city tour.
Alrighty. Look at all the people waiting to get on my helicopter over there. Ain't that kind of cool? Whoa. There we go. Up, up and away. It's been a minute since I've been in the Huey. You gotta kind of hold left pedal as you're trying to pull up with it. And this is a neat one. This is the, the nice chrome Huey. an even more urban area. And if you've ever seen the, uh, the teaser video they created for the Persian Gulf map, it even blows away what I've come up with in this video, but if only it looked that good all the time. They really do a good job, Eagle Dynamics does, with their, uh, with their teaser videos. But this is what it really looks like, at least, you know, for the average user. Look, there's like a train down there, monorail or something. little marina variety of rich people boats although I don't see one of those yachts that they had in six underground that was pretty sick Like people are like hauling ass on these roads, huh? It's a neat little uh, mosque or something, that little domed building. We're close to that airport. That's what this is over here. Pretty big airport, too. Pretty cool stuff. And it's pretty much it. You can jump in the Skyhawk and create your own mission, but yeah. And then what did I do? I did create a mission. did I call it? Air to ground test? 21 test? Trying to remember. A4... I think it's this one. Yes, this is one that I created that lets you drop bombs in either the F-16 or the MiG-21. And again, it's right here over the Persian Gulf as well, close to Dubai. Air to ground. Master arm is already up and ready to go. What do I have selected here? Let's go with them. Clusters. Oh, 
let's see what that does. That's going to leave a mark. Nice, look at that. Didn't really hurt them, though. But again, goes to show you can create your own missions as well. And do whatever you want. So, that is the Persian Gulf. And this is DCS World's Persian Gulf map from Eagle Dynamics. And then one more thing. Let me go to Mission Editor, Create New Mission, Persian Gulf, OK. So this is pretty much the entire map, too. A lot of places to have some fun. And this is kind of where we were. Most of the areas that I showed you was like from here into the Dubai region right here. But you've got all this other place to have fun with, too. So that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. It really is an awesome map. No, I'm not saving. So that is the DCS Persian Golf map from Eagle Dynamics. Uh, it's $49.99, I believe, when it's not on sale. And when it's on sale, I've seen it as low as 25 bucks. They just finished their DCS sale. But um, definitely a highly recommended map. I actually paid full price for this before a sale because I saw that video and I'm like, oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, and look right here. There's that helipad I was telling you about. I did a couple missions where I, I've landed every one of the helicopters on that pad. One of them wasn't so successful. But any landing that you can walk away from, you know, was considered a landing in my book, and I did it, so that's rather cool. So that's it for the moment. Um, as always, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button, and until next time.